Welcome to Spelling Analysis. Today, our list will include two of our new phonograms. So these are two of the phonograms with the most sounds, and sometimes people find them to be the ones that they need the most practice to master. So this is the one we learned the most recently, and what are the sounds? A, O, U, Ow, Uff, Off. Let's say it again. A, O, U, Ow, Uff, Off. And this one says what? Ow, O, U, U, U. Ow, O, U, U, U. Got it? All right, be listening for these in your words today. The first word that we will be spelling is the word I. I like to go skiing. I. Go ahead and say I. I. Let's sound it out. I. This is an I, I, E, Y. Now, there's something very special about this word I. Before you write it, you need to know that Every time we write it, whether it's at the beginning of the sentence or in the middle of the sentence or all by itself, we write it with an uppercase letter or a capital letter. So let's say the word again, I, use I, I, E, Y, and write it with an uppercase letter. Go ahead and write it. Now help me write it, I. Well, there you go. It's not a very long word. It's very unusual that we always write it with an uppercase letter. And hey, there's something else about this word, isn't there? I thought that we said English words do not end in I, U, V, or J, but I ends in an I. Hey. <laughs> Okay, this is one of the words that is an exception to that rule, and we will talk about it in a little bit further in just a minute, how we can remember that. The next word is you. You are a great student. You. Go ahead and say you. You. Let's sound it out. Ya, u. Use ow, o, u, u, u. Do you know which one to use? Just in case you're confused, you're going to use this one, okay? Ya, ooh, got it? All right, go ahead and write you. All right, help me to write it. Ya, ooh. How will we mark this? Well, underline the ooh. What sound of ow, o, ooh, uh, uh, is this. Ow, o, u, u. It's the third sound. So we'll put a three over it. Let's read it. Ya, u, u. Okay, wait a minute. This word is not following the rule either. English words do not end in I, U, V, or J. <laughs> These two words, I and U, are very old words. And so they've changed over time. I used to have some more letters after it, you did too, and over time those letters fell off, those sounds fell off, and this is what has remained. And they are exceptions to that spelling rule. And here's how I like to remember it. I like to remember it that you and I can end in you and I because we are very special. Got it? You and I can end in you and I because we are very special. The next word is your. Your house is next door to mine. Your. Go ahead and spell or say your. Your. Let's sound it out. Ya, o. Use an ow, o, u, a, u, er. Let's sound it out again. Ya, o. This one, er. Okay, go ahead and write your. And as you write it, sound it out. I'll show you this again, just in case you needed another hint. Your, ya, o, er. Go ahead and help me write it. Ya, o, er. Hmm, how will we mark this? Well, underline the o, and what sound of ow, o, u, u, u is this? That's right, ow, o, it's the second sound, so we'll put a two over it. Let's read it. Ya, 
O-er, your. Hmm, does anybody notice a pattern here? You, your. Are these words related? I gave it to you. That is your coat. Yes, these are related in meaning. And notice how this spelling is related. As we learn more about spelling, we're going to start to learn how sometimes our spellings are also pointing to the meaning. So these words show us that they're related in meaning because they use the same phonogram, ow, o, u, 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 um, and they have very similar spellings. So that shows that they're related. Pretty neat, isn't it? The next word is flour. I need three cups of flour to make the cookies. Flour, go ahead and say flour. Flour, let's sound it out. Ful, ow. This is an ow, o, u, u, u. Once again, it's this one, er. Let's do it again, flour. Ful, ow, er. Got it? Go ahead and write flour. Good job. Now help me to write it. Ful, ow, er. And how will we mark it? Very good. We'll underline the ow. And what sound of ow, o, u, a, u is this? It's the first one, ow, flower. Let's sound it out. Ful, ow, er, flower. The last word is dough. I used flour to make some bread dough, dough. Go ahead and spell it, uh, sound out dough, d-o. Hmm, that's interesting. Which phonogram do we know is spelled with four letters? That's right, it's a-o-u, ow of off <laughs> Let's sound it again, d-o. And just in case you need this tip as you write it, I'll show it to you. Sound out do as you write it. D O. Very good. Now help me write it. D O. And how will we mark it? We'll underline the O. And what sound of a, o, u, ow, off, off do you hear in do? A, o, d, o. Do, it's the second sound, so we'll put a two over it. Let's sound it out, d, o, do. Great work with these words today. Combining the science of reading with the joy of learning. Learn more at foundations.logicofenglish.com.